is me, Kayla. Um, today, I'm going to read uh, two things, two separate things that I wrote um, back in spring of 19, um, before uh, my Catalyst event took place. Um, so, um, these are two of my writings that I wrote before then. I will never understand what it was that made you decide I was someone who deserved to be deserve to be destroyed. What it was about me that made you decide that. What about me seems so unworthy of actually feeling something that brought me to life. I shouldn't have decided that that was how I felt. You seem so sincere and real about how you began, and you made me feel like I actually mattered to you in the way that made you light up, like you wanted the way, like you wanted to t fall for me as much as. I wanted to fall for you. The way you spoke to me was such a fiery spark in your eyes and in your voice and in your person. The way you would light up the place when you got there just looking at me and smiling such a genuine smile. The way I could feel the way you felt radiate the air around and feeling how you f felt made it easier for me to start to fall. How could I not know when everything felt so fucking real? The magic that happened when we were near each other was something the be best magician could never find. This sense of calmness came to me. No matter how I felt, I knew you'd calm me. And how I seemed to bring you a sense of peace or a sense of anything. Some things you can't fake or lie about. And the way we felt around each other is something so unexplainable that it would take years to even explain it to anyone besides us. The connections our soul made before we, as people, realized we felt something is unforgettable. We knew that this time when we met, we needed each other, and that this was finally the time that we realized that it should be, have always been us. We kept coming to each other before, though, through all of this, but we weren't ready then, and maybe we weren't really ready this time either. I became so fucking toxic with the overwhelming feelings the first time in my life I felt something that just felt so fucking right. My entire life had less feelings combined than when I was what I felt when I was feeling at that time. You made me realize that I was alive and not just existing, that I deserved to have someone finally care about me, the real me, and you were the only one at that time to ever know her and she did intrigue you, but she also fucking scared you. When you go from nothing to everything, you don't know where to start, which ones do you deal with first and which ones to sort out and not need, to which ones you need to realize how to deal with and express. I was so fucking scared of losing you, I chased you away. A short time later, me being overwhelmed like that, overwhelmed you, and we didn't know how to handle the real me. Even though real me was who you fell for, but that was also before she knew anything about herself. I was blinded by her. She scared the fuck out of me, too. She had so much learning to do, and she had no fucking idea what to do or where to start. You realize you saved me and brought me back to life, and you, you said how alive I became. You saw how alive I became. And even though at that time I hated everything about my life, I felt like something was finally good for me and that my life had a meaning now and I, could, and I was killing myself before. I was weak and cowardly and so scared of the toxicity that was already in my life that I found the courage that you brought me to life. I finally did what I had wanted to do for so long. And no plans of doing it. I did it. I realized what I had known all along. There was so much more to life than pretending I wasn't alive. I deserved life and I wanted to take it back. You weren't the complete reason, but you gave me that tiniest little blast push I needed. Trust me when I say the emotional turmoil I had gone through for so long made it impossible without that nudge. The manipulation and the control that my soul faced was something that took t time to free. The shackles, and I realized I had always had wings. I was worthy, and I was good to be around. I was a genuine, caring person that the weight I was coming, carrying it was not mine. When I say that the tension left my body that day, I watched it float away and spy. Say, finally, you've held on for too long. I could finally breathe, and that thing I'd been putting off since before you was much easier than I thought, but also exactly how I always knew it was going to be. The first time in my entire life, I felt free. No one telling me who to be or how to be. I felt validated in who I was from myself and the person who should have always had herself. And the way that made you light my soul on fire where you had already lit it blazing by you amazed me you saw me before i saw me and you helped me find me it took me a while to admit to myself that i felt the fire you lit i wasn't scared of us not ever 
but I started to sabotage us because my emotions were scared. But you dove in headfirst and made me believe you were falling just as hard as I was, and you got scared when you realized we felt we fell hard for each other. And I took the alive to the extreme while you had limitations because you had some fucking grasp on who you were. I was so fucking scared of losing you that I made it so I lost you, that we lost each other. I never regret the decision I made. I made that decision to change. I did for me and for my life. And you just happened to be there. I can't forget the words you said to me, how your words made me fall more, how you seemed to want me as much as I wanted you. And then the first time your lips melt, my lips felt like the I left the world. The first time we kissed was something not a lot of people ever experienced. It was so fucking magical and felt like something the movies wish they could write about. How does something like that not make you weak? I knew those lips were meant to kiss. Holy fuck, was that the best kiss I had ever had. I really couldn't even describe it the way it took me somewhere I'd never been. This is why I'm confused. There are some things you can't lie about. And I saw it in your eyes. You cared about me. The vibes between us were undeniable. And the feelings between us, they were fucking real. But your words, those are what I'll never know. Did you mean them? You had to mean them. You had to. You had to have some truth. I believed every one until you left with no words. And you keep coming back. And after, and the timing for everything has this connection between you coming back and the shit for me, it's wild. The synchronicities of them were like we were one person. My thoughts of you when we came back, it's like sometimes we are out of our bodies together in the universe watching our humans go back together. Writing this has become too much now because our souls are wanting to be together and my human is breaking down. I miss you so fucking much. And then I wrote this one. Quite around the same time. I don't understand how you consume so much of my thoughts, how my soul aches for you to the core, my heart exploding out of my chest from beating so damn fast, how it feels that you feel me, how I feel you without touching or even being together, as I am here and you are there, but we're together, aching to physically be together, even in writing it doesn't make it any easier to explain that feeling, it's like somewhere in the universe where souls live, we are as one. How the fuck do I explain it when I'm having trouble grasping it? When I don't even fucking understand it? How do I make sense of something that I know is real? So many tiny things add up, so many big things along with it. Timing of it all is so fucking crazy sometimes. Like how so many times we come back to each other. And how so many things happen and so many details match. And how we silence ourselves, but we talk louder through silence. This feeling is something kind of scary to overwhelming. It's out of this world. It's unreal, but fucking real as fuck. It overwhelms me sometimes because what the fuck is this feeling? I don't even know if feeling is the best way to describe it. Or if it's a feeling is, or if the feeling, if it is feeling it outwardly inward connected to something untangible, but in you, like you and me have called our souls from our bodies to meet up and see if our humans are ready to keep them from running away to meet. And if they are ready to keep them at home inside them. Um, I wrote all these probably about right around now, two years ago. Um, and doubt and fear came in. And I faced it all. And those are another stories for another time. Um, I do have one of them shared on my, two of them actually shared on my page um, that I have on Facebook, Karma's Universe, according to Kayla. Um, they're very powerful stories that I wrote around the same time that I wrote these. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to uh, come on and share a little bit. Um, and... Save with no gloop. See you again. Mm. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have the best day, and I'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs>